Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome to my tutorial about homemade metal detector Spirit P4 Pro A. Today I will show you step by step how to make this metal detector. But first, please subscribe to my channel and give me your like. So, let's start. Step number one. We need the mine folder of the project. So, in the folder you can find PCB, you can find component list, you can find Arduino sketch. So, let's to download this folder. You need to go to my web page, the link you can find below in the description of this video and download this mine folder. So, let's do that. Ok, let's start. Please open my web page, the link you can find in the description of this video and open block section here. The first post is Spirit P4 Pro A. We touch read more and it's open description of this metal detector. We need this folder. Download files. Download project folder version 1.0.2. Download please this folder. Okay, inside this folder we have some folders. So, Spirit P4 Pro A LCD version 1.0.2. This is Arduino sketch. We need it for our Arduino. So, next, schematic. This is schematic of this metal detector. Uh, next, PCB Spirit P4 Pro A PCB. If you will make PCB yourself, so you will need this file. If you will order PCB, for example, in the GLC PSB service, you will need Gerber file. This is Gerber files. Next, PCB control. PCB control have not the Gerber file, so, so we need to make it. It's very easy. I will explain it. And then we have component list. This is all component we need to build this metal detector. But there is no LCD screen, so I will explain about LCD screen. This is here just components we need to make the mine board. OK. And 3D models. We can print and the box for the our mine board. And that's all. OK, we got the mine project folder. Now we have to choose how we will make the mine PCB board. You have two ways to do this. You can do this this way. to get this PCB board you can order it in the GLC PSB service uh, you will get uh, high quality PCB board like this you get box like this inside this box you will get mine boards from GLC PSB service for cheap price and you can build this metal detector so Ok, please choose the way you will make the PCB mine board and then after get the mine PCB board for example from GLC PCB service like me we can start to assemble this PCB mine board 
okay the easy way to get PSB you need to go glcpsb.com then hit now add your Gerber file and set the mine folder we have downloaded and nothing more so this web page can detect Gerber file inside our mine folder and show us the mine board here we don't need to touch nothing just we can choose the color of the mine board and nothing more so after save to cart and complete the payment so the next step we will assemble the mine board look at here we have one two three four and five lines this is bridges we have to weld wires here 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 and here and here we have five bridges okay we have the bridges one two three four and five well welded okay the next step we have to weld the resistances how we will do it okay we need to get the component list from the mine folder of the project you can see here we have the numbers and the values the numbers is the place in the mine board okay for example r2 r1 okay this way you have to put all the components okay we did it we have all resistances welded so next step we have to weld the diodes please here pay attention because the diodes have direction here we can see the black line in this in this side and here we can see as well the line in this way but this diode this way the line so please uh, pay attention here because if you change it will not work so let's do well the diodes okay we have welded the diodes the next step let's to weld the transistors okay take the component list and look at this we have transistor here one two three and here one two three six transistors the different tapes okay and we have one MOSFET then we have one more transistor BF245 Q1 okay so we have seven transistors and one MOSFET let's weld them okay we got it so the next step let's to weld this resistance this resistance r3 here this resistance we will use later uh, when we will adjust the metal detector okay and let's weld all the capacitors just left this capacitor we will weld this capacitor later well we have welded all the capacitors so the next step we have to weld this capacitor this capacitor not included in the component list why because i still doing the testing with this capacitor so i not include this in the component list so i will show you how to weld this capacitor this capacitor have value 47 nanofarad the number 473 this means 47 nanofarad okay it's very simple to weld we need to weld one pin of this capacitor in the ground here and the second on the pin of the resistance R21 here okay here 
this is a resistance R21 we have to weld here and the second in the ground here this is ground 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 maybe in the next version we will remove this capacitor but in this version we will need this okay we got it do you see this and this okay next step we have to weld the amplifier this and this okay this amplifier has direction also so you need to see this point okay in amplifier also you can see this point so please pay attention while you will weld this amplifier and this and this amplifier we have the point here okay look at this we have amplifier and we have direction okay you can see this this direction we have to put this side okay left side like this and the second one the same okay the next step is the bus converter this one okay here you have to adjust 5 volts how you can do this by default we have adjust here this resistance we don't need this we need 5 volts so you have to cut here right here and weld here where you can see 5 volts you need to weld here and cut here okay then you will have in the bus converter 5 volts we use these pins these three pins only this pin this and this this pin we don't use okay okay the next step we need to put the Arduino but first we need to upload the sketch to Arduino I don't recommend you weld directly the Arduino because after if you want to remove or change the Arduino it's very difficult better use something like that so you, you can insert Arduino and remove easily okay so let's upload the sketch to Arduino then weld then weld Arduino okay <laughs> 